Sarah McLaughlin. Will you be an angel for a helpless animal? Yo, what's going on everybody? Um, yeah, I don't really know what that intro was, but it's your boy Boone and we are back at it with a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be exploring the StockX marketplace, taking a look at some of the supreme resale prices from the last drop, which was yesterday. If you guys want to go check out my live cop, my miserable, miserable um, experience on the supreme website, go that way and go find that video, please, for me. We're going to hop onto StockX in a second and start looking at how stuff is performing. Um, I'll try to help you guys out with what you should keep, what you should sell, and we're just going to discuss like the entire drop as a whole maybe give a nice little review maybe you'll give this video a nice like who knows let's get in the video though it's not big intro boy today thank god um, let's jump into it so here we are on StockX. here's the most recent drop these are the best selling items everything up here is like the most sold items so um the black bag seems to be the highest sold item so far this isn't surprising at all there's like so much reason for this bag to do well it's a leather good um it's obviously a very clean design it's not too big it's not too small it's just like a really perfect design essential bag in my opinion I think they killed it on the bags for this entire drop so um, the black colorway is doing awesome the red colorway is doing even better in my opinion I thought the purple and red would be the two best performing I want to take a look at the purple 208 so not the worst I guess you can call it royal sorry I know some people were like tripping I was calling it purple who really cares it's almost purple so um, 208 not bad honestly all these bags are doing super well even the green ones doing super well so I'm happy for anyone that's able to cook one of these up I did not get one I didn't even go for them because as you guys saw my live cop I got Got the biggest lag spike of like 2018 so i had no chance for like any bag next up we have the jackets at least we have the black jacket which seems to be the best selling jacket so far again the black on black so boring like come on supreme fans just try to be a little colorful or something but i do understand like if you're gonna drop this much money on a jacket it better be something you wear a lot the black is a very basic nice clean look um 1373 not bad you guys not bad at all i heard some people saying these are gonna brick super hard um i didn't think they're gonna brick like i didn't think it was gonna right away be doing super super well. I didn't think these were gonna like completely break, but at the same time, I don't really think I knew how these were gonna perform. The fact that they're a parka really like made me nervous and probably is the biggest reason I didn't go for one. If you did end up going for one, you are probably gonna be making some money off of it. Um, I don't know what StockX fees are looking like. It's probably gonna be a shit ton of money since it's $13.73. That sounds like a big old fee. That also sounds like a bar, so smash a like. But uh, honestly, like if you grabbed one of these, I think you did a good job, but at the same time, like you better hope you can sell this quickly because I feel like once people start getting theirs in the mail the price is going to start dropping a lot it will obviously go back up eventually however it's just like the stock x cycle now shit does hella well first day so you get all excited and then slowly plummets as people get their items in the mail so um if you got one of these i would probably try to sell it just because like i don't think many of my followers have 1100 just laying around to just hold on to if you do um damn like split some of that bread my way fam because i see you eating out here let's take a look at some of these other sizes so the xl is like probably doing the worst worst out of every size I will say on these jackets I would not have gone for XL just because like it's already gonna be a bit oversized of a jacket most likely um, I don't think you'd see that many XL cells and that's what it looks like I'd guess probably XL is like the worst performing size of every um, colorway this medium seems to be popping off so hopefully you guys went for smalls and mediums I know smalls are probably impossible to get but this royal ones doing super well actually like 500 bucks over a thousand is pretty fire it was 1100 retail so you'll probably be making right now like 200 bucks after fees like 250 I don't really know. I don't want to do the math, but not a bad pickup. I would hold on to yours if you can afford to because these are going to become worth a lot of money eventually. However, if you can't afford to do so, just flip that bitch. Next up, we're going to go to these bags. and I am so hyped, you guys, because um, I don't talk about it in live comps or anything, and I probably shouldn't even be talking about it right now since you guys like get really, really mad at me whenever I mention this, but I did have somebody run a slot for me on this, and it actually cooked on a restock, so bless the damn lord, because I thought I took like a major L's yesterday, even though I did cop something um, but I did secure one of these and I'm super excited because I get to show it off to you guys you'll see it in person I actually want to keep this because I actually really love these bags some people seem to hate these bags I think they are so damn clean I'm very excited I want a red or a purple one super badly the actual resale is looking great for these going like a hundred over retail these are just gonna keep on going up all these leather North Face bags I think are gonna perform super well I absolutely love this bag I think it's so clean um, every colorway seems to be doing well purples like a hundred dollar profits still um, we got the black might not be okay black still hanging up there let's take a look at the green that black actually looks really nice the green looks great I am so excited to see this in person bro oh my god I really 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 wanted one of these I am so excited bro like I've been trying to get a new waist bag or some type 
shit for so long. This green one would match my fit right now, low key. Uh, let's keep going though. If you're wondering if you should sell or hold on to your leather items, um, especially like the bags, I would hold on to those. I think they're gonna keep going up in value. They will go down a little bit when people get their items in the mail, but it's Supreme North Face. Everyone knows about this drop, so I think you'll see these keep going up in the future. Try to hold on to it if you can afford to do so. Let's talk about these reversibles though, because I actually kind of wanted one of these for the personal as well. This entire week was like a lot of items I actually wanted for the personal. I even wanted one of those North Face hats. I almost went for one in Live Cop. So glad I didn't because they're still sitting on the site, maybe even today. Um, but these reversibles are doing pretty well. I will say I thought the black would do better, but thankfully, 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 you damn hype beasts are finally starting to realize this Gucci colorway bullshit is so overhyped. I thought this was a really weak colorway. I didn't like it very much. Um, it's not really performing well at all. Like $100 over retail is honestly not bad at all, obviously. However, it was 200 retail and I don't know, I feel like um, the white shows just like how much better you could have done on this jacket because it is going for um, about double retail, which is way better than the black version. I think this version looks 10 times better. The blue, like navy, I love. The red, it just looks 10 times better in my opinion. I'm so mad I couldn't get one of these because again, I wanted to show it off on the site. And I might have actually rocked this because I do actually think it's a pretty clean jacket. Next up, we got the Navo tee. And these are the tees you guys were all like clowning on me for, for copying. However, I'm still not like mad that I cooked this up. I know it's not the best item. However, if you take a look at the sales for smalls, like they're really not performing that badly. A highest bid of 190 on that last one. Um, we have like prior sales of over 100 bucks. So um, currently, obviously, like this shirt is not popping off in any way. And I'm not trying to say I like cooked it up or some shit, but it's not like an L. People are trying to tell me I took an L. I went for a safe live cop. You guys saw my experience on the website yesterday. I had so much lag. Like, what was I supposed to do? Just take like a complete L? I wanted to buy something for my live cop. I always try to do entertaining live cops where I'm securing something. So I went out and got this. I get to unbox it and show it off to you guys. See if it's actually like nicely embroidered and shit. I actually do love the colorway of this shirt. I wish they would use this dark teal on way more stuff um, because I don't like the design of this as many of you know, but the actual color of the shirt is gorgeous. So let's keep going. You know, I always got to go defend my bricks that I cop whenever I do these buy and resell fucking videos, whatever. Let's go to this inflatable chair. This is a goddamn like seat of brickage. If you want to have like a nice relaxing brick nap or like play some brick video games, this is the brick chair to complement those because this thing was not worth copping for shit. If it, like for whatever reason in your head you thought this was going to resell, you are mentally sick and need to be sent to a hospital because this shits was 288 for fucking plastic and air. There's no way this is gonna resell. There's no way this is gonna like pop off or anything. I mean, it will pop on you like literally, but it's not gonna pop off. This was not it at all. Like, I hope you guys did not try to go buy this to resell it. This is kind of like that stupid ass speaker that they dropped last season that just keeps going down under retail. No one's gonna pay this much money for a goddamn inflatable chair unless it takes up like the size of a fucking room or some shit. Um, just absolutely ridiculous. They dropped the ball on this. I didn't really mean to go off that hard. Like, I don't know why I just got so triggered by this dumbass chair, but I just hate the look of it. Fuck this chair, bro. Let's go to these S logos. I know a lot of you probably bought S logos thinking like, oh, please resell because this was one of those items that was actually manageable to go grab last week. Um, this white old natural color is doing pretty well. I don't know why this small is popping off the way it is, but um, the other sizes aren't doing the worst. I would not have gone for this. Like I was telling people not to go for it. S logos are just like not really the way it seems like with Supreme anymore. Obviously it's a clean ass hoodie. Don't get me wrong. I don't think the hoodie's ugly or anything. Um, it's just not going to resell. What the hell just happened to my voice, bro? I think I've said the word resell like too many times. My voice literally just died saying that word for like the billionth time of this video. <laughs> But I hope you guys didn't cook these trying to like resell them. If you did, then uh, like that's on you, Chief. Thankfully, this is a brick that actually looks super nice. So if you went and bought one of these trying to sell it, um, you can also rock it and not look like a complete idiot. I don't have an S cap on today, unfortunately. We rocking that FTP Schwave. But um, I love these hoodies. This blue one's really gorgeous, actually. This making me think the box logo colorway in this like tealish blue, like not teal at all, light blue, is going to pop off. Keep that in the back of your head. This is going to be the most hot colorway of all box logos. I'm calling it right now so this is the last item we have to talk about i'm not going to talk about the playboy tee if you bought one sell it right now it's not going to go up in value this is a beanie that actually caught many by surprise because it has a little box logo alert right here um honestly i think the black one's actually pretty clean and due to my discord is fighting me on saying if this was a clean or ugly ass beanie i still think the actual beanie is ugly as hell but this little supreme box logo really does help it out a ton um i just don't like the arc logo i'm very sick of the arc logo i really just don't like the weird speckly look of these like i wish it was just 
one like plain color. I don't like this whole black and red look, but maybe you guys rock with it. Hopefully you rocked with this video. It's been your boy Boone. I have a huge sale tomorrow on Seattle Select. I'm looking at like just all the stuff I'm gonna unbox in a video tomorrow as well um, before that sale. So go follow Seattle Select, go follow Boone. I love you all so much. Thank you guys for the support. 20K giveaway coming soon. I know I keep saying that, I just gotta have that perfect timing with it. You know, we gotta have it on the right video, all that, yada, yada, yada. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you watch this video all the way through, I fucking love you. I'm talking so fast, and why is this video still even going? I love you, I'm out. Peace.